hello guys and welcome back so in the previous videos we have completed our character ai and now we have a basic waypoint system in which the ai character can move around this building in these waypoints but this traffic ai system is not just about that we also want a branching system in which we will give a chance to our character ais to break and join some other path for example if the ai character which is this position then by using the branching system we will branch our character ai to some other waypoint system and then for example if we branch it from here and then we make the character ai to leave the branch right here and then join some other waypoint system which goes around this building and around for example all of this map so in this video we will add the branching system to our traffic ai for that let's just click on the scripts folder and traffic ai and let's open up this waypoint script and right here after this waypoint width we will add a new list of waypoint or you can say waypoints so we will say public list right in here we will type waypoint and let's name this as branches now after this let's go inside the editor folder and open up the waypoint editor script on this waypoint editor script we will visualize our branches by the yellow color so for that we will say if waypoint dot branches and if that is not equal to null it is actually similar to the upper code but for now this is just for the branches so right here we will say for each and for each waypoint branch the item will be the branch and it is inside the waypoint dot branches Okay, so for each of the branch we will color it as yellow so we will say gizmos dot color the color will be color dot yellow after this we will say gizmos dot draw line and we also want to draw a line for the branches as well just as we did for the waypoint width and for the next and previous waypoint okay so right here we will say waypoint dot transform dot position then we will say branch dot transform dot position that's it after this let's open up our waypoint manager window and let's go ahead and create a button for adding the branch so above this create waypoint after or actually down below we will say if gui layout dot button and let's name this button as add branch waypoint and on this button we will call a function which will be by the name of create branch that is it now let's copy this name and after the function which is create waypoint after we will say void create branch right in here first of all we will create a waypoint so it is the same as we did for the other one so we can just copy that line from up there and paste it down below then after this let's add this as a branch to our old waypoint so for that we will say waypoint then let's name this as waypoint as well this will be equals to waypoint object dot get component and the component will be the waypoint then down below we will say waypoint let's name this as branched from and this will be equals to selection dot active game object dot get component 
and let's type waypoint right here then after this we will say branch from dot branches dot add and let's add the waypoint then we will say waypoint dot transform dot position will be equals to branch from dot transform dot position if you notice this code and then this code right here it is pretty pretty much the same but this time this is for the branches then right down below we will say waypoint dot transform dot forward and then this time it will be equals to branch dot transform dot forward then we want to select that newly created branch we will say selection dot active theme object and that will be equals to waypoint dot game object that's it now let's open up the waypoint script let's now equal this branches to new list and in here we will say waypoint then right down below let's create a new float so we will say range the range of this will be from 0f to 1f that is pretty much the same to the waypoint width okay so public float we will name this as branch ratio and by default this will be 0.5f now let's open up the waypoint navigator script Right here inside this if condition, let's create a bool by the name of should branch, and this will be by default equals to false. Then right down below, let's check if there is a branch exist or not. So we will say if current waypoint dot branches it not equals to null, and also if the current waypoint dot branches dot count is greater than zero so if the branch exists then let's do a random check against the branch ratio to determine whether the branch should be taken or not so we will say should branch equals to random dot range Then less than equals to current waypoint dot branch ratio. Then right here we will set it to true, else we will be setting it to false. If the it, it means that if the current waypoint dot branch ratio is less than or equals to this, then it will be true, or else it will be false. So after this, if you are choosing to branch then let's go ahead and randomly pick a branch as the next waypoint position for the ai character so we will say if should branch then the current waypoint will be equals to current waypoint dot branches random dot range the range will be from zero to the current waypoint dot branches dot count minus one so after this as you know that we are changing the direction of the a character as well and right here we don't want any issues so let's add a else block right here and let's move all of this code inside this else block now after this inside this if condition we will check that if the next waypoint and the previous waypoint is null then we will assign a waypoint to it so for that we will say if current waypoint dot next waypoint is not equals to null then we will assign a waypoint to it so we will say 
current waypoint dot next waypoint after this we will add a else block and as you know in the else block it means that if it is null then we will assign the previous waypoint instead of the next waypoint and also we will set the direction back to 1 after this we will do the same for the else if condition so let me copy this if else and let's remove that from there and in here instead of now the next waypoint we will say that if the previous waypoint is not equals to null then to the current waypoint we will assign the previous waypoint and if it is null then the current waypoint will be equals to the next waypoint and then we will set the direction back to zero that is it now let's just simply save all of this and the back to waypoint manager window right here make sure that you make this w capital of that waypoint because as you can see right here it is capital as well in all of the names and you guys also make sure that you don't mess up with this traffic ai okay focus on the variable names so now as you can see everything is set up now let's go ahead and create a branch right here where is it right here on this crosswalk so let me select this branch i mean this walk point so right here we will click on this add branch waypoint we will move it forward like that and then let's rotate it to the minus 180 like that and then we will set the waypoint width to 2 let's move it a little bit more forward and then let's click on waypoint editor tool and create a new waypoint let's move it forward right there then click on inspector and make the width of it 2 as well so that it matches perfectly then after this let's create a branch again now at this end this will be the that first one will be the start branch and then this one will be the end branch okay so right here what we will do we will click on inspector and now let's move it to the 90 on the y-axis or actually minus 90 okay and once you do that now let's click on waypoint editor and let's create waypoints again so first create the first waypoint like this and let me set it okay then let's create another waypoint like that and now let's create more waypoints and cover this whole area so just follow this video step by step So when you reach this point and your waypoints are then connected, your waypoints can be different. When you are done with the waypoint, then just simply select this waypoint, okay? Okay, and we will connect these both waypoints. So let's add it right here in the next waypoint. Let's move it a little bit forward. And after this, let's select the waypoint 29. And right here in the previous waypoint, let's add the waypoint 55. And as you can see like this it will be then connected to each other as you can see 
and guys let me tell you that your waypoint can be different from mine so make sure that you join them correctly okay so now let's select this waypoint and right here what we will do we will click on this waypoint editor tool and then we will create a waypoint before and as you can see it is created right there so let's move it to this position like this okay i don't know why it created there but we will move it to this position like this okay and then click on inspector and right here we will make the branch ratio of this as one and then let's select that one and as you can see now in the previous it is now the waypoint which we created okay now select this one make the ratio one as well for this waypoint and once you are done with that then make sure that your waypoints are not in the way of any objects like here as you can see so i will just simply delete that and after this let me check the other waypoints as well let me move it to this side okay then from here as well let me click on it and move it to this side a little bit and the same for that one as well Now let me just close the waypoint origin and let's click on the console as you can see it is showing this error but we will ignore it. Click uh, turn off the gizmos okay and as you can see now the waypoints are gone. Now let's go ahead and play the game. The game has started as you can see let me change to the scene view and let's see all of the traffic from the top. Okay, as you can see the AI characters are spawning and as you can see they are crossing that area as well as you can see now they are going towards their destination if you see it from the top like this you will notice that more character will go from this branch to the other branch you will notice it 